My name is James Bailey. I think uh, the, the best part was the camaraderie that we got to develop with uh, a lot of the science majors. I was a chemistry major and there was a lot of camaraderie so that it turns out, oddly enough, lunchtime was a good time. Everybody got together, had a lot of fun. It relieved a lot of the stress because we were taking a lot of serious courses. We'd be, you know, in, in, in that day, you would take 21 credits and, and you would have six, seven, maybe eight courses. As a freshman, I had eight courses. So uh, although it sounds funny that lunch might be fun, it was fun because it was a time when you could just, you know, uh, relax and, and enjoy the, the friendship of, of the other guys who were going through the same thing. When I say guys, it was guys because in those days it was all just uh, uh, men. There were no women on campus at that time. Uh, American Chemical Society and in that there was the academy that they had in the in the society. Uh, so So that was one I for a brief time, I was on the rifle team. Because again, in those days, part of the freshman requirement was that everyone, everyone was a member of ROTC. It was not an elective, and you, you did a year at that. And, and in getting involved in that, I, I was on the rifle team for a little while. Uh, but then I, I didn't continue with ROTC. But I did that. And then we had a lot of intramural sports. Uh, bowling team, a little softball, things like that we did. Uh, mostly for, you know, just for fun around the campus with everybody. Well, as you can see by my beanie here, <laughs> one of the big traditions at the time was that freshmen had to wear the beanie, okay? And you had to carry matches around so that if smoking was a bigger thing in those days and if an upperclassman uh, wanted their cigarette lit, you had to carry the matches to light their cigarettes. They could also ask you to sing a song. You had to walk off the path if an upperclassman came along. So that was, that was one of the traditions. One of the other traditions that I, I remember and I would be nice to bring back was at noontime, okay, they rang the bell for the Angelus. And wherever you were on campus, everyone stopped. And so you stopped and, and if, you, if it was your mindset, you said a little prayer and then a minute or so later they would ring the bell again and then you would proceed on to what you were doing. But that was a, a real nice tradition uh, where everybody got to partake in it, all of your class members, because if you were out walking around on campus, you would stop for that moment. In my time, I guess at Seton Hall, I, 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 it was difficult uh, because it was a different period than I think we see now. Uh, C was an average grade for people. You, you know, there weren't a lot of A's and B's. There was a, a number of us who started out in chemistry uh, and, and people didn't succeed. There was a lot of us in chemistry who you had to repeat courses. And, and if you got an A in all your four years, and, and let alone if you got two A's in your four years, you were an exceptional student in chemistry. So it was tough. And, and when you looked at the ranking at the end, because I don't know if you do it anymore, but there used to be rankings. But the chemistry majors were typically in the lower ranking because of the, the complexity and the difficulty of the courses. So I remember that, but I also remember when I went out from the university and went into the workplace, I remember that the things that they taught me here were a lot superior to some of the other people that I met in the science courses, people from Ivy League courses. Now, you know, it was tough around here, but I remember particularly in meeting a kid from Brown who did not know as much organic chemistry as we had been taught. And, and I'm not saying I was an exceptional student. I'm just saying they did a very rigorous and very thorough job in providing us with an education that we were able to use in later years.